What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my friends, subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Cap through Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages, resonate, leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, High Priestess 205. Thanks for all the recent subscribers. Thanks for all the love and support to the channel. All the likes, subscribes, and shares. It's greatly appreciated. It helps support a single mama and uh, to, to her two kids, even though I don't have full custody of them right now. Um, it still helps support. I love you guys so much. Um, and um, if you'd like to book a personal, the information is in the description box below. Most of my time slots are opening up now because I've completed a whole bunch of personal readings already. So time slots are opening up now if you're interested. And I'll offer a new service if you're interested in that as well. Okay, so we're going to dive right into it. Hope everybody's doing well. All right, so this is heavy sex tape energy. Very heavy sex tape energy. Um, whoever this is for and however it applies, okay? Um, and there's several of them out in the universe. And <clears throat> I will tell you, whoever these people are, um, they are nervous as hell. They're, who, uh, the energy I was picking up on these people, they're nervous as hell that the sex tapes are going to be leaked. I heard they are. And they're about to go, um, they're about to go, and they're about to go like wildfire. Um, so whoever did these sex tapes, they're already fearing that they're going to go, like they're going to go out to the public or, I don't know, the public or communal or their bro pals or whoever, but I didn't hear specifically who, but they are about to go and go quick. They're already fearing they're going to, but they are going to go. Uh, whoever these people are, I feel for a lot of you guys, you know these people, or maybe you're about to come in contact with these sex videos. I don't know, only maybe your family member is going to be mortified with your family member in the middle of one of these sex videos. I'm not sure, but they are about to go, and they're about to go quick, and there's many of them. There's many of them, many situations. I will tell you that right now. Okay, so one of these situations is a... Um, it's a homosexual situation. It's a masculine to masculine. I heard it was a uh, it was a gay. To, uh, was it pay to gay to pay, pay to gay, gay to pay um, situation? So gay to pay for anybody doesn't know. It's basically gay. They don't mind being gay if they're paid to be gay. That's gay to pay for anybody doesn't know. But it's masculine to masculine. You know, you can be female to female and be gay to pay. But this is masculine to masculine, gay to pay energy. Um, and um, I heard in one of these situations, it is, um, they were um, recruiting people in their um, corporate workspace. Um, their clients were in their corporate workspace. Um, and they were being paid for gay services. But the video, the sex video, I heard is about to go um, like wildfire. It is about to get in the hands of somebody they don't want it to get in the hands of. And it is about to go like wildfire, wildfire. All over the place. In a very sneaky way. It will not be on a public porn site. Okay, so the gay to pay one, the masculine to masculine energy, gay to pay one, they apparently were recruiting people in their professional corporate workspace as a gigolo, a gay gigolo, basically, for gay to pay. And, um, but it's about to backfire on them, on the masculine energy, I guess, that was pimping themselves out as a gigolo uh, to be paid for, to be gay for sex services. Um, I heard it's about to get in the hands of somebody they do not want it to get in the hands of. Um, and this person makes, I heard they work in a professional corporate workspace. So I'm sure they make pretty good money. I'm sure they do. Um, they make good money. They make good money. Oh, man. So they already made good money. But they decided to pimp themselves out as a, uh, as a not prostitute, as a gigolo, a male prostitute. But that's about to backfire. I heard it's about to get in the hands of somebody they don't want it to get in the hands of. And it's about to go like wildfire. But I heard it's not going to go on a public porn site. Which they can't put it on a public porn site. Because you need consent and authorization of both parties to put it 
publicly on a porn site, you're not supposed to distribute it out to anybody if you don't have consent authorization uh, of both parties. And that's just the truth. It's like revenge porn is what this is. It's like revenge porn. Um, definite revenge porn energy, and it is about to backfire on this masculine energy. Definite revenge porn energy, and it's about to backfire on this masculine energy. So, confirmation. So, revenge porn is basically when somebody gets it and they spread it around to everybody in the mama for, like, humiliation tactics and to kiki and ha-ha. And it's very low vibrational energy, but they do it to try to humiliate somebody. But, um, it could, I mean, it's not right. It's not right. And th that, to me, is a lawsuit waiting to happen uh, because that's very, very, very low vibrational. But I heard it's about to happen. So whoever is about to get it, um, and I heard it's about to go quickly and like wildfire, they're not going to put it on a public porn site because they know they can't do it because they don't have the consent authorization of the male gigolo to do it. But they are about to do it. And apparently they're about to send it out to a shit ton of people. And um, it is about to go like wildfire. And this person will find out. They will find out. And there's going to be nothing they can do about it. Because of the past. Oh, God. Okay, so um, I heard this person will find out. They will find out that basically their video is about to go not per se viral on social media. It's about to, I feel it's going to go viral in people's phones, in people's inbox, in their DM, in their text, in, um, or, or what, something like that, like a communal thing. Like you, everybody knows this person, everybody know, you know, you know, 25 people it's about to go. Um, whoever is about to do this, they're very, that sounds like skilled and sneaky at this um, and very smart. Um, they're about to do it in the way they they will not get caught. They're about to do it in a way they will not get caught. That's what I just heard. So, who? Uh, damn. <laughs> they're about to do it in the way they won't get caught. But the person, this male masculine gigolo, is going to find out. They're going to find out. <clears throat> but... I heard there's going to be nothing they can do about it because of the past. So this male gigolo did something in the past. It's going to be like black male energy or holding it over their head energy. And I heard it's going to embarrass the hell out of them. Um, and But whoever is about to get a hold of this video wants it to do. They, they want it to go. And it's about to go. And apparently they're skilled in this and some kind of criminal skilled behavior to cart it up. Power moment, just saying. Uh, cart it all over the universe. To make it go that way. Her is gonna, it's, it sounds like it's about to be used for some kind of humiliation tactic. Now, whether they make money off this revenge porn or not, I don't know. I didn't hear that for this situation. Okay? But it's masculine-masculine, homosexual situation. And he was basically pimping himself out in a corporate conglomerate type situation to make extra money. And I heard he already, made, already makes good money. Um... So you plug it in how it resonates. And it's going to get it's going to get to somebody very important. And they're gonna save it for collateral. This one's coming in very strong. I have other ones. <laughs> okay, so this one, um, the gay to play, gay to pay, corporate conglomerate, masculine, masculine porn video is gonna get to somebody very important, and I heard they're gonna save it for collateral. So I think against this masculine energy, um, it is ma masculine, masculine, homosexual porn, revenge porn, basically. You plug it in, how it resonates. That's the first one. The second one I heard was a masculine and feminine energy that was, um, I heard it was a sex tape that was at somebody's house during a swinger party. Um, I heard somebody recorded Somebody recorded this sex tape of this masculine and feminine energy. I heard um, they both they both were in relationships, but they were at the swinger party and they did it. You know, they had sex or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, and um, somebody else at the party, somebody else at the party recorded the sex video. Um, but I heard that one's about to get out. And that one's about to go very quick like wildfire too. I heard that one is about to go in a co-working situation so that one's about to go around in a workplace so it doesn't sound like neither one of these so far are about to go on porn sites 
uh, they're going to go community. They're going to go in way, the first one, I mean, they're, they're skilled in that shit. So I don't know how they're going to send it where people can't, I don't think they're going to send in Facebook Messenger is what I'm saying. Because people report that shit in Facebook. They're about to send it in other ways to where people is not going to report it. I think it may be just text message or something like that. Or showing it around, like in a communal setting, like at a workplace dynamic or a ball team setting or in the vehicle with 20 people like that. But however that resonates, it's a the situation too is a masculine and feminine that did it at a swinger party. And um, um, the feminine is pregnant by this person's, um, by this person. The feminine, oh my God, this is getting worse. So situation two, the fem is pregnant by this person. They're pregnant by this person um, and somebody else, I guess the person or people that videotaped them having sex at the swinger party, um, I guess before she found out she was pregnant by this guy, this guy's baby, back when they were creating the baby, procreating the baby, um, that one's about to go. Um, like wildfire. Light wildfire. Um, I heard that one's going to go around in a workplace situation. In a workplace situation. So you plug it in how it resonates. So I think that's going to go around in text. It's going to go around in text or on somebody's phone. An attachment. And oh my God, look at this. I think it's in this person's workplace. Whether it's the pregnant femme energy's workplace or the masculine's workplace. Or maybe they work together. I didn't hear they did. But how that resonates. Um, this is very low vibrational. For one of these situations, for the masculine and feminine energy, it's about to get to their boss, a very high level boss, very high level ex executive boss, high vibrational, high vibrational. And one of these people will end up being terminated. Because it's about to cause so much drama in their current site. Corporate conglomerate site. And in one of these situations, it's in a patient care setting and a patient will see this video and they will, they will file a complaint to the corporate entity on this. Oh my God almighty, what the hell is going on out there in the world? Oh my God, I would never, I wouldn't even participate in watching somebody's porn video. Much less to be showing it. I mean, because y'all know I'm a nurse, so it's in some kind of patient care setting. I don't know if that's a hospital, long-term care facility, dialysis place, a clinic, somewhere where there's patients. As a nurse, I would never even... I might glance at the porn video, but I'm not watching the whole thing, and I definitely wouldn't show it to a patient. Oh, my God. That's terrible. That's terrible. Okay, so situation two with the man and the woman, it's a corporate conglomerate patient care setting. So I'm thinking long-term care facility, assisted living, hospital, dialysis um, site, or what have you, what have you, something of that nature. Some kind of patient care setting um, or a clinic or something like that. But the porn video of the masculine and feminine that she's currently pregnant, apparently, is about to get to a patient. It sounds like in this clinic, in this site, corporate conglomerate patient care site. And I heard the patient is going to end up reporting somebody in this corporate conglomerate that I think is about to show them the sex video. They're going to make an official report to the corporate conglomerate about the sex video being shown very publicly in this public space, in this patient care setting. And through many series of chain events, one of these people end up terminated because it's going to cause so much drama in the workplace. It doesn't sound like it's just going to be shown to this patient. It sounds like it's going to be shown to many people in this site, facility, patient care setting. And it's about, it's it, so much so it's going to cause a patient complaint. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You plug it in, how it resonates. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Yeah, this is that's serious. That one is about to become a very serious situation. In this site, it's about to cause corporate to come down. 
Okay, so situation two is that, that one is about to cause a very serious issue issue in the site. It's about, it sounds like it's about to go all around the patient care setting, whether it's a hospital, assisted living, um, skilled nursing, dialysis, corporate conglomerate, or whatever it is, clinic, whatever it is. It's about to cause such flurry. It sounds like it's going to go all around this place, and people are going to be talking about so much. It's going to cause corporate to come down, and they should. They need to nip this shit in the bud. That is terrible. That's situation two. Now, situation three is a child situation. It is it's sickening. It is a child situation. It is a um, pedophile child porn video. Situation three, okay? I'm just trigger warning. I am sorry. No child should ha be put in a pedophile child porn video. Um, and I'm just being serious. But it that is number three. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm, it's terrible, but that is what this is. Okay. Um, so situation three is a child porn video, but I heard this one. Um, somebody is about to get very careless and they're um, trying to make money off these, um, off the, it's a, I heard it's a pedophile in it and a child. Um, and it's a, they're, the goal is to make money off this video. So I think their audience is pedophile audience or trying to gain pedophile audience to gain money off this. And I'm assuming the child obviously did not get paid for this. They just got used for this. For some situations, I feel the child could have been threatened um, to have sex with this person, um, unfortunately. But the whole goal and premise of this one was basically to make money off this situation, to make money off the child and to make money off this video. But I heard this one is about to get sent to the feds. This one's about to get to the, sent to the feds and they're about to send it to the wrong person. Um, and I heard they, they are sending this one communal too, not like a porn site. None of these are porn site situations. They're all like community situations. Sending it through somebody's text. Sending it, um, sending it, showing it to somebody while they're on break at work. Showing it, well, they're sitting in their car chilling while their child's at ball practice and they see this porn video. Um, those kind of situations is what I'm feeling. Which is very low vibrational and very sad, but that's what I'm feeling. Um, none of them are official porn sites uh, videos, but th they're not for reasons because it's, they can't, they can't do it that way. And that's just the truth because they don't have consent authorization of one, at least one of the parties to do it that way. So I heard in situation three, it's about to get sent to a shit ton of people too with the child and the pedophile. It's about to get sent to a shit ton of people too, but. It's about to get sent to the wrong person, and that one's going to get sent to the feds. And once that one gets sent to the feds, I heard serious quick action is going to um, occur on that one. And it should. Thank God for that, because, you know, there's situations of cover-up energy all the time. Um, thank God, actually, they're going to take action on a poor child that has been exploited and abused and used strictly for a sex video for money. And they're not just going to sit on it. Um, I heard that feds are going to take quick, quick action. Um, very quick action. Very quick action. That's what I heard. Very quick action. Um, and those people will end up in jail. It's not just the pedophile that was involved in the sex video. It was a whole group of them. Very immature individuals. Very money hungry. And they're all going to end up in jail and facing heavy legal action. Okay. So for situation three, it wasn't just the pedophile in the sex video with the poor child. It was a whole group of them that collaborated to do this. But the whole goal and premise was to get the child in the sex video to, so they all could make money off of it um, and leave the child out in the cold, which is sad, but that's the energy I'm feeling here. But I heard it's going to get sent, it's going to get sent to a shit ton of people, but, but um, to the wrong person. Um, hopefully it gets into you and you send it to the feds. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. There's a reason I'm receiving these three significant sex videos about to go very, not per se viral. It's not going to be on social media or a porn um, site. It's going to be communal, community. Um, but it sounds like for this one, community action is about to occur. Whoever, one of the, at least one of these people, and they're about to mess up. These people I don't think are very intelligent. They're about to mess up. They're about to send it to the wrong person. And that person is about to send it to the feds. And I heard the feds are going to take quick action 
And it's not, like I said, it was just a whole, it was a whole group of them that conspired to do that strictly to make money. I heard all of them going to end up in jail. All of them are. And heavy legal action is going to occur. And, and it should. It should. Absolutely. So you plug in how it resonates. So those are the three I got. That is terrible. I'll see if I hear anything else. You plug in and how it resonates. So for a lot of you guys, you might get sent this sex video. It's not going to be something you see on Pornhub or XX videos. It's something it's going to be sent, I think, to a device or shown to you in a workplace or shown to you at a ball practice or shown to you at a family dinner or something, which is weird, but I'm serious. Um, it's not something you're going to find on the porn site. All three. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. And number one, there's a criminal mastermind there. Like they, they're used, to, I mean, they know what the hell they're doing there. I mean, number three, one, they definitely do. Two, that one's going to backfire with corporate coming down. Three, that one's going to backfire with feds. This one sounds like it's going to be successful. And I'm just being serious. So much so, it's going to get back to the person and they're going to have their hands tied. So you plug it in how it resonates. And there's going to be a significant sex video that a wife does not want getting out. A polyamorous wife, she's been having an affair with somebody, been trying to keep it secret, but that person has secretly videotaped her. That one's about to get out too, revenge porn. It's about to get out all around her community, his community, other communities. It is about to get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. She she was trying to hide this affair from her husband and from others for strategic reasons, but this person doesn't, they are doing this for strategic reasons too. And it's for money reasons. This masculine energy is about to make money off her and that they, they have already contemplated getting a divorce and they will about to, they are about to get a divorce over this. It is about to cause so much chaos and so much drama. Oh, this is terrible. So you plug it in how it resonates. So there's four. Um, a mar it's a poly. Uh, okay. So they're married, but they consider themselves poly, a masculine and feminine married couple, but they consider themselves poly, meaning poly, usually everybody agrees upon every partner and it's a agreed upon consensus who you're all's in the circle of having sex and relationships and sexual relationship or whatever whatever but i heard the wife is having a secret affair with another masculine energy not her husband and not in this polyamorous dynamic i'm presuming for strategic reasons but the masculine energy she's having the affair with has secret has already secretly videotaped her a sex tape for strategic reasons so he could make money off of it. And I heard it's about to go viral. That one's about to go, not viral on social media, viral in their community, um, his community, her community, other communities. And I heard he's going to make them a lot of money off of it. And it's about to break up their marriage. But she was strategically having a secret affair with him, not telling the polyamorous dynamic or the married spouse, masculine spouse, um, for strategic reasons. But he recorded the sex video to make money off her for strategic reasons too. And I heard he's about to make a lot of money off of her. But there, all four of these dynamics are not being done on social media. They're not being done on Pornhub or XX videos or whatever, whatever, whatever. They are being done in the communities. Um, this one's about to break a marriage up. You plug it in, how it resonates. <laughs> I just don't know what to think about these. These are terrible. That's why I never want to have sex again. <laughs> because i i mean i'm serious i have no desire to have sex i just don't i have no desire to have sex because i know of all this shit that occurs out in the universe and i don't want to be betrayed like that i don't if i want to have sex with somebody i want to be able to trust them because i would never even in my 
free bird. I'm single as a Pringle. We all know that single, a marital status single, and I have been for a long time. But even in my free bird dating, 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 dating so much days, I would have never secretly videotaped somebody, one of my uh, sexual partners, strictly make money off them for revenge porn. I would have never done it because I was never would not was not having sex with them for revenge. I was having sex with them because I wanted to have sex with them. As it should be. That should be free will. These people are doing it for very shady tactics, but it's about to backfire on them in very different ways. Um, how that resonates and applies, okay? I'm closing this out. I feel for a lot of you guys, you're about to see these videos or you're about to be sent these sex videos or you're maybe you're going to report the child video to FBI or you're about to know the married couple, polyamorous couple that's about to get a divorce. Um, or you work in the corporate conglomerate with a gay to pay to gay guy that uh, pimps himself out to people in the corporate conglomerate. You plug it in how it resonates, you guys. Or you work in the corporate conglomerate where it's about to get around with the pregnant masculine, fem, uh, the pregnant femme and the masculine at the swinger party. You plug it in how it resonates. I love you guys and namaste.